for the very best. Here he is, Batman, Tyson Fury. I was just about starting, but eventually, eventually, eventually. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, mate, I don't... Yeah, no problem. A little bit of traffic there. How are you? <laughs> hey, Jonathan, okay, mate? Sorry, mate, everybody. Commence the press conference. Here we go. Whew. Let's introduce him again, undefeated in 24-18 knockouts, the challenger, Tyson Fury. Yes! The undefeated heavyweight champion of the world! October 24th is mine! My time to shine! You're getting knocked out, old man. I can already see you're insecure. You've shaved the bit hair around the side. It's like it was grey. And you, Jonathan, you know what I'm like. He's getting his ass kicked. You, I can't say nothing bad about you because I don't know you. And you, on the end, you're just a rascal, mind you are. <laughs> <laughs> You confident then? Yeah. Say that again. <laughs> Tyson, how confident are you of uh, bringing the belts back to Britain? As confident as waking up in the morning and putting my shoes on. That's how this fight's going to go. Very sharp, easy, simple knockout. No doubt in my mind that I can't beat Vladimir Klitschko. I wouldn't be the fighting man I am if I couldn't beat him, an old man like that. He's had all them defences, won all them fights, beat all them Americans, all them Europeans, but he ain't beat me. Listen, you may have fought plenty of peasants in your time, from Poland, Austria, wherever you're from. Yeah, all them Ukrainians and whoever. You never fought a gypsy king before, have you? You ain't never fought a king before. You're looking at one here, pal, me. You ain't nothing. You're an old man. You get knocked out. I can't wait. I just cannot wait for this. Please, God, I wish it was this weekend. You'd get hurt, telling you. I wish it was this weekend, because you'd be getting knocked out. And if he wants to fight and all, he can come out of time. I'll fight him too. And the rest of them. Where, where are you all at? Bring them all on. We've already beat one Ukrainian. Who, who beat the Ukrainian last time out? Where is he? Stand up, you eat. Hey, who did you beat? Hey! Well in there, son. Get it on there, boy. Number two's coming up. This clown's getting knocked out. And I don't care if Eddie Hearn thinks I'm getting beat or not. He's getting knocked out. You're going to have egg on your face, mate. <laughs> Listen, I'm the man in these shawls, me. No Joshua's, no Chisora's. There's no other heavyweights apart from me. There only ever has been me. And I proved after 14 fights when I beat the best man in the country. Listen, there's not many travellers in this country, but we've got some of the best fucking fighters in it. Middleweights, heavyweights, welterweights, whatever weight you want to do. We're the fighting men. This is our divisions. We're boxers, through and through and through. Whatever you are, I don't know. An army sergeant, it looks like it, or a school teacher, or a surfer, dude. I don't know what you are, but you definitely ain't a fighter, I tell you that. And when you meet a fighting man, you're definitely going to lose. Any more questions? Who wants to ask me some questions? This is a Tyson Fury show. Forget about him, he's a nobody. What round? Any round you want. What round do you want, sir? Six. Six round. It's go do you want to go to sleep at six, Vladimir? Because I'll put him to bed six rounds if he wants it. <laughs> Who else? You, there. Me. Yeah, what have you got to say? Any questions? Well, then. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, you, glasses. Say that again. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. You at the back with the long hair. Russell Crowe, what you got to say? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Next question, you, Grenoble Hall. Purple shirt. What am I going to do to this man, eh? Uh, October 24. Easy knockout. There you go. Hey, hey. Who else? The beautiful woman in the front row with the blonde hair. How much do you love him? All the world. <laughs> That's it. What's happening to Vlad? I'll be carrying him out. Carrying him out. Who know. else? I'm not going to ask Johnny because he works for Sky. Uh, <laughs> you. You in the middle there. Yeah. Tie on. Yeah. What's happening to Vladimir? He's getting knocked out, mate. Yes! Knocked out. Yes. Oi, you next to him with a hat on. What's happening to him? Is there anybody here who doesn't think I'm putting Vlad into retirement? And if you are, stand up now and be counted and speak like a man or a woman and say it. There we go. Not one person. Welcome to my city. Welcome to my town. UK, baby. Hey, hey, hey! So, <laughs> after all watching and observing the behavior of Tyson Fury during different fights, his mimic, um, singing, um, chatting and changing his opinion about Emmanuel Stewart, uh, admiring him on the first, um, in the first side, on the other side, then saying he was overrated, admiring Lennox Lewis at the beginning, later on saying that he hasn't done much in boxing, the Hall of Famer Lennox Lewis hasn't done much in boxing. Um, you said um, that uh, Tyson Fury with a D um, is going to OK Klitschko until the seventh round. So then you change it to KO Klitschko to the seventh round. So OK, actually, for your knowledge, means zero killed. That's in the military. That's where it came from. So are you going to OK me? You're going to knock me out? Why don't you tell me? Because then two letters uh, in your name just say KO. Well, be patient. Be, be patient. Klitschko is getting okay. KO. OK. It's Listen, good to know. It's good to know. We can't understand you here. We don't know what you're saying. I have all, an accent. I have an accent, but I think people I understand this, me well. You can be a clown. Just, no one cares, mate. Just calm down. Off. Sit this back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Reality if rehab. you call me a clown again, and I'm going to get up off this chair, and you're going to be a doctor. And I'm your therapist. And Listen, now, it, to, it, was, it, it, was a, it was a compliment. Come on, call me a clown. It was a compliment. Well, I say. It was a compliment. All right, so call me a clown again. I <laughs> call me a clown. Sit down. Fool. Sit down. Sit down. Clown. On, clown. <laughs> All right. Listen, so, no one me no clown, uh, listen you should take it as a compliment. It's a very Listen, tough no job. It's a tough job. Okay, I, I just... I just, Listen, I just continue, no I You're just continue what I said. I'll fight now. I don't have to wait till October. You need a therapy. I'll fight now. I will save you. Yeah, you'll be saved, mate. I you'll will save you, you because you're me. visiting a doctor. Listen, and I will save you for any You are visiting a doctor right hero. now Listen, like because you a need hero, a therapy. You need the right the therapist. I'm telling you, that is going to be reality. Therapy, and you're visiting a doctor right now. So calm down, doctor, sit down, doctor. and listen. I'm gonna make a lot of people better, and I think I can make you a better person. I seriously believe in it. Seriously believe in it. Just there is there is four and a half or five weeks to go until the fight. On the 24th of October, my therapy already started. On 24th of October, we will continue. So then Tyson Fury said, well, in Germany, I need to, okay, I'm sorry, KO Klitschko. Because this is his territory. And you know what? If referee is going to kind of help Klitschko or going to do things in his favor, I'm going to go after referee. So means you're going to knock the referee out as well? 
well. What I'm no, saying here, be on your side, there's certainly sir. bipolarity. No, on your side, not That's ours. my diagnosis. Where are going there? there is a psychological you issue a because the misbehavior cannot control himself. That's a bipolarity in changing the mind. It's a serious issue that a lot of people, unfortunately, have in our society. And there's a lot of doctors that can give you good prescription and it's yeah, going to help well, yeah. certain God medicine. Almighty, in this case, it's going to be boxing match. To and I'm sure we David Hay went through this therapy and I promised to give him good therapy and he became we'll a better person. I really like Hay. Hey, after meeting him a couple of years after the fight, he really a nice guy. He turned to a nice guy. And I'm actually so happy that you two didn't fight, David Hay and you. I mean, I don't know what's the reason why you didn't fight, but I'm happy because he would have knocked you out. David Hay, this cruiserweight, would have knocked you out. So I'm happy that it's actually this fight is going to happen. As I mentioned before, this bipolarity is going to be well treated and you're going to be a great person and I really have faith in you, Tyson. I really have faith in you. You're going to make it. Just let me start the therapy. It's already actually started and it works well because you appear at the press conference, mm, I would say not so good looking, but now you look like a million pounds before the tax. But it works. You become a better person. So at least on your outside, so you, you look like you're preparing for a championship fight, for the world championship fight. So I like that. So it makes me be satisfied that my therapy is working. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm asking you not to miss this fight. You can watch it in the arena, live. 55,000 people are going to attend at this soccer stadium. No, you don't need to take the umbrellas with you or warm clothing, as it was in fight against David Hay when the rain started and it was really like plus two or three degrees Celsius um, beginning of July. So arena in Düsseldorf is covered. It's going to be dry, cozy, warm, and the atmosphere is going to be fantastic. So you can travel and watch the fight live or you can watch it here on Sky. And I'm sure those guys will prepare the best broadcasting you could just imagine. There's a lot of things that are going to be added to this press conference and some other appearances. We're going to have a way in, another press conference. So there's going to be a lot of, a lot of action to observe. Now I'm going to come to my preparation. Don't fall asleep, please. So my fights, my fights are sometimes long, sometimes short, but it depends from my, um, yeah, how I feel myself. Sometimes I take, take a little bit longer, sometimes I take a little bit shorter. I've been preparing for this fight seriously. And I'm doing so much training. I switch from three workouts a day to four workouts a day. Usually, for every fight, I do at least like 120, 110 sparring Soldier rounds. Worried about the gypsy this thing, time, <laughs> I'm doing over 200 rounds of sparring. I never have done it. And then now we're coming back to bipolarity of Tyson Fury. He said, this is old man, gray man. Ladies and gentlemen, Please take a look in particular at this press conference and the look of the both fighters. And who looks younger? If we're talking about the age. Anyway, it's not about the age. Age is just the number. It's about how you feel. I will, I will say, I feel, I feel good. Not great yet. I'm not there yet. I'm still kind of trying. As an old man, I'm still trying to get myself in the shape, so I'll be, I'll be good and ready for 24th of October. But as I said, I'm working probably the most complicated and uh, tough preparation that I ever had. 